All right, this video is covering Unit 9, Exercise 70 of the TERP 10, in which we'll be creating a project with WBS elements. So first what we want to do when we want to create a project is go to Logistics, Project System, Project, and Project Builder. So when we see this screen, you can go ahead and click skip in the future, and hit the green check mark. And next, what we want to do is where it says hierarchy levels, we want to choose 10. And you can click the green check mark. From here, we want to go ahead and create our new project. Now there are a variety of ways that we can create a project in project systems. But in this exercise, what we're going to do is create a project from a template. So what you have to do is click on this piece of paper and click Copy Project. From here, we need to enter in a project definition. For my client, I'm going to type in T-200 six three. Every project definition has to be unique. Uh, if you're, if you've been assigned a, a specific username, uh, you can type in the last two numbers uh, of your user ID for these two numbers here. For the description, you can type in turbine project group. And I've created quite a few of these, so I'll just make it 63 as well. The start date needs to be today so today is July 22nd 2017 so I'll just change that to the 22nd and then I'll go ahead and copy that and then paste and then we just have to go down to standard project definition this is going to be the actual template that we're grabbing so um, anyone doing this exercise will have to use the same template uh, if you're following along. So instead of putting your two numbers here, you're gonna type this out exactly with the zero one at the end because everyone who will be doing this should be using the same template. Then finally, you want to uncheck with activities. So we're gonna be creating our project without any of its activities because the next exercise, uh, I'll be showing you how to create the activities uh, in the project using uh, a network template. So once we do all these five pieces of information, you can go ahead. Oh, actually, don't click anything yet. I did make one small mistake. For the finish date, you don't want to put today's date. You want to put today's date plus one year. So 2017 and then 2018, but everything else is the same. Now you can go ahead and hit the green check mark. And if you get a warning like this, uh, you can just click the green check mark. And here we are. So now what we see here is all the various elements of our project. We're, this particular project, we're creating a wind turbine. So you can see here that it's broken down into the five major components that make up that project, the five main pieces of work being engineering and design, planning of systems and instrumentation, purchasing, production, and assembly processing. And within this project builder screen, you can select any of these things on the side and manage them with the information changing on the side. So now that we've created our basic uh, work breakdown structure here on the side and we've copied this new project, we can go ahead and click on save. And with that, with our project created, that concludes the first exercise in Unit 9 of the TERP 10.